Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Childress. I'm a clinical psychologist in Pasadena, California, and I specialize in treating ADHD spectrum issues, uh, angry oppositional children, uh, parenting issues, family relationship issues. And today I'm going to talk with you about parenting the three-year-old. Um, now, the developmental tasks for three-year-olds are to develop their emotion regulation systems, their ability to, to manage their emotions. Uh, you know, people talk about the terrible twos. Well, it really extends a little bit in, in broad, complex ways uh, to dealing with, with emotions uh, more generally. And also to develop their language and communication systems. And so both emotions and language and communication are coming online and being integrated at the same time. So working with three-year-olds uh, becomes a great deal about working in relationships with them, uh, about language and helping them develop language and helping them learn how to manage their emotions in a social context. The final thing uh, about the developmental tasks of childhood or the three-year-old is that during this period, the three to five period, um, the attachment systems and the relationship systems are glowing white hot. Uh, they tend to go quieter around seven or eight years old. Uh, they're always with us. Um, but during this period, the attachment system is absolutely um, white hot active. And so relationship becomes extremely important working with these kids. Um, in terms of working with them, there are three basic approaches or three basic brain systems that are involved in parenting children. The authority system, which is essentially dominant submission networks, uh, can induce submissive behavior by applying punishments. And that's typically what we do for children. Uh, we use the authority system. You need to do what I tell you to do, otherwise you're going to have a punishment. But there's other brain systems involved and there's other relationship systems we can use. One of the most important is the socially organized behavior system, and that involves reading social cues and interpreting what those social cues mean and emitting social cues to the group, what we're going to be doing, and, and coming up with a socially organized plan to how to fit our activity into the social group. The authority system um, uses discipline strategies of punishment to achieve obedience. The socially organized behavior system uses guidance strategies um, we scaffold the development of the child uh, using these guidance strategies and it develops cooperation. And really with our kids, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for cooperation, not merely obedience. The third system involved has to do with psychological connection. It's a relationship system. It's incredibly important. Um, uh, for child development, it's, it's essential. Uh, for all of us, uh, it's, it's incredibly important, these relationship systems. And the connection system has to do with uh, feeling what other people feel, feeling their inner experience. When the system works well, we feel part of the human community, we belong. When it breaks down, the feelings are loneliness and alienation, some of the most painful feelings human beings can experience. And so in the three-year-old, what we want to do is we want to help foster these relationship systems so they feel like they belong, they're valued, they're, they're loved. Um, one of the most difficult things is, is when these break down and their field is kind of alone and alienated. The way to foster the relationship systems is by maintaining a positive emotional tone. Um, psychologists, in particular um, one psychologist at Kohut, talked about mirroring, that the child looks in the parent's face and sees a mirror of who they are. So uh, I'm a dad, and so if I greet my son in the morning and say, hey Jack, how you doing? Gives him one message about who he is. If I greet my son in the morning and say, hey Jack, how you doing? Gives him an entirely different message about who he is. And so we want to be able to communicate to that to our children with a, just sort of a positive emotional tone, easy and relaxed. Um, the other, now within that general positive emotional tone for the three-year-old, we do want to signal where they stand in the social group and what they're doing is wrong. And so I don't mind flashing them in angry, hey, stop that, put that down, or a little bit of fear, oh, don't, oh, careful, careful. But when I do that, I want to repair the relationship breach by coming back and being more positive. So, hey, baby, put, put that down, that's not okay. What are you going, what are you doing, dude? You, you know better than that, come on. I go back to the positive emotional tone. And finally, in working with the three-year-old, it's really important that parents resolve their own emotional issues. Um, depression, sadness, anxiety, stress, marital conflict, anger. Because, because that connection system that we have that lets us feel what other people feel, that child is importing the parental stress and anger directly into them. They're feeling it just like we feel what the actors feel in the movies. And so 
the best thing we can do for our children is to resolve that stress and anxiety and anger and f marital frustration in ourselves so that it's not in our children. Um, and so they can go back to just being kids. So if you want to learn more about this, you can visit my website. Um, thank you very much.